Musicals are funny things, both on stage and in cinema. There's a chance some of you may have found yourself slightly flabbergasted as people randomly and spontaneously burst into song. Disney films are no different. In fact, many Disney classics are particularly memorable for their musical numbers. Yet, are they always random and spontaneous? In general, musical numbers can be split into two categories, diegetic and non-diegetic. If you're unaware of the terms, diegesis pretty much refers to whether a song is purposely sung in the universe of the film or not. Diegetic songs can be described as characters being aware that they are singing, as in maybe a performance or incantation, whereas non-diegetic is the more spontaneous, unplanned singing, usually presented as characters being oblivious to the fact that they actually are. Now I know what you're thinking, surely most Disney songs fit into that latter category, but in actual fact there's a good number which are wholly diegetic and some which I'm still undecided upon and may need your help to determine. As could maybe be expected, songs and films which are not your typical musical or potentially have a very limited number of songs fit very easily into the diegetic category. I'm talking about the likes of 101 Dimensions, whose two principal songs are sang by Roger, who actually writes them in the world of the film. That's an easy distinguishing factor. If the song is written in the film, it's undoubtedly diegetic. Then there's The Emperor's New Groove, whose one song, Perfect World, is performed at Cusco's request. The Great Mouse Detective has very few songs, with Let Me Be Good To You being entirely diegetic, as is Scales and Arpeggios from The Aristocats and Himele No Lilo from The Lone Stitch. Also, Rescue Society is a theme song for the organisation in the rescuers, slightly different from performance, but same idea. Others which fit into this performance category yet are from your more typical musical are the likes of I've Got No Strings, Oh Sing Sweet Nightingale, Hail to the Princess Aurora and Daughters of Triton. Okay, a couple of swing songs I'm not entirely convinced by, Under the Sea, Be Our Guest, and Prince Ali. They're all presenters being viewed as the type of performance being watched by Ariel Bell and everyone in Agrabah, yet are they not realistically too extravagant to be actually in the world of the film? If anyone actually understands that, please help me out here. Back to The Great Mouse Detective, the world's greatest criminal mind is another of the more debatable cases. It's generally presented as a regular non diegetic musical number, yet Rattigan orders the other mice to continue to sing, meaning he is aware they're doing so. So diegetic, I guess? See, this can be tricky. Similarly, in Snow White, it's the dwarf song which could go either way, because I think it's realistic that they'd sing hi ho when their day is done. I think I'm going to put it in the diegetic category. Fight me. Let's look at Cinderella. I mentioned earlier incantations, so what about Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo? Does the spell need to be sang to work as a spell? I'm not convinced. Yet, one I am convinced about is Tangled's healing incantation, possibly Disney's latest diegetic song. There's Ursula's spell in Poor Unfortunate Souls and Facilier's in Friends on the other side, yet would they have worked if they were just spoken? These are things nobody should have to worry about. Then we have the likes of the Muses. They're the narrators of Hercules and are therefore 100% aware that they are singing, right? But then, are they even part of the world of the film in the first place. I'm going to put them in the middle, and I know they do play a part in I Won't Say I'm In Love, yet that song is most definitely non diegetic. And if we're talking about narration, what about the bells of Notre Dame? With clopping and everything, I feel that's pretty much the same way as Topsy Turvy, which is absolutely diegetic, and I'm really starting to hate the word diegetic. And then finally, the great mess that is Alice in Wonderland. Do you know there were 18 songs in that film? 18. And who am I to say the people of Wonderland don't just sing for the fun of it? And to save me reading off every other Disney song, although I know you'd love me to, let's just say that everything else is not diegetic. If however you do stumble across something you think I may have left out or miscategorized, then please do let me know. I'd love to be able to end this video like this is the reason behind diegesis and what it's used for. I can't, I guess it just makes a nice change sometimes or something. I think I forgot what the point of this video was. Join in the discussion down below. I am Joseph Worthington and this is Cruella's Fur Coat. Be sure to subscribe for more Disney videos and don't stay too long.